Well, 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 some things take a back seat during a global pandemic as it turns out, but even as low budget as we are, Ask the Boys is back for the 2020 season. What do you mean I don't have a two shot? What do you mean we are only gonna have one camera angle for this video? Oh, cause it's, cause it's Ask the Boys and even though we're Emmy nominated, we're still bottom of the totem pole. That's fine, okay, we'll make do. Let's just get right to it. Uh, it's been a long six months. Nobody wants to talk about diseases that are a gigantic bummer. Um, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna fire away, which my people, I see you, I appreciate you. This question is from How My Dirk Taste. Uh, must be a Mavs fan if I had to guess. <laughs> Uh, he wants to know, will we see more 20 or 21 personnel at least a few times a game? Obviously talking about putting Ezekiel Elliott and Tony Pollard on the field a little bit more often. Well, yeah, I, I guess that's the, the bottom line is, yeah, I think we're going to see it more often than we saw it last year, which was hardly ever. But I, I worry that we're getting a little too carried away with that. Um, yeah, I think it'll happen. I think it'll happen every now and then, maybe a handful of times a game, but like, if it happens more than 60 to 80 times on the season, I'd be pretty surprised. I mean, Ezekiel Elliott is still the bell cow for this team. Tony Pollard, obviously a damn good running back, but I'm more interested in using him for his skill set as a receiver who can move around the formation. So yes, I think we'll see it. But remember, this team still has three pretty good wide receivers too. I don't think it's going to be a staple of the offense by any means. Very football heavy questions. I'm not thrilled about it in these corn times would love to, to get a little bit more off the wall, but that's fine. We're starved for football. We can answer some football questions. Carolyn wants to know, what is Tyrone Crawford's true role? Seems odd that he's listed on the depth chart as a defensive end. Carolyn, please keep in mind the depth chart is a lie, first of all. Don't pay, don't pay attention to the depth chart. The league makes the Cowboys put it out. So. Short answer, we'll see Sunday. Long answer, are you familiar with the concept of a utility man in baseball? Guy who can do a little bit of everything, play all the infield positions if he needs to? That's kind of what I think Tyrone Crawford is. I think you're gonna see him plenty at defensive tackle. I think he can move outside if he needs to, but obviously you have Tank Lawrence, you have Everson Griffin, you have Alden Smith. I don't think he's gonna spend a lot of time there. Keep in mind, you're probably gonna see some three, four looks from this defense. And Tyrone Crawford was actually drafted to play three, four defensive ends. So between those three assignments, I think he'll get plenty of snaps, but I think you're making a mistake if you're trying to hammer him into one position. Cause I think he's gonna be a jack of all trades, if you will. Actually, I said we weren't gonna talk about the pandemic, but uh, but we can, that's fine. Mikey wants to know, uh, with all the talk about bubbling during training camp, the Omni Hotel is somewhere in that general vicinity right here at the Star. Um, is it realistic to think the Cowboys will bubble for the entire regular season? Not really, and, and I don't think that it ever was. We actually talked to Demarcus Lawrence yesterday, earlier this week, and he said, you know, he's back at home with his family. He quarantined here during training camp, but it seems ambitious to expect 63 guys to quarantine themselves away from their loved ones for four, maybe five months. Keep in mind also, anybody that's associated with the football team is getting COVID tested on the reg. So, you know, quarantining sounds really nice, uh, but between personal responsibility and the measures that these guys are going through just to get into the building, I'm not convinced it's necessary. Yes, this is going to be a challenge, but not so much of a challenge that I think you can ask all of these guys to live in a hotel room for the rest of the year. I don't think that was ever realistic, but we're gonna see how it all works out, man. They're gonna play the Rams and then, you know, I'm, we're just gonna take it a day at a time and ask the boys at a time and it won't be six months before you see me again. So, and maybe we'll have different cameras later too, but you know, happy football, bye.